Funko Cop. What have you done to me, man? What's up, everybody? I'm back. No video games, podcasts, no pops. Branching off. Well, I've been branched off, but I wanted to take you guys on this journey with me. So for the next however long until I run out, each week I'm going to be showing off either some new kits I just picked up or some ones that are already done that I can kind of show off to a full extent and show you some of the cool pieces that have been coming my way. And I want to give a huge, dramatic, dramatic, and traumatic shout out, not really the traumatic part, shout out to the homie, the great and wise Funko Cop. So I want to say maybe two or three months ago, Funko Cop had hit your boy up talking about oh you need to get into this and these kits and this and I was like kit what you talking about I've only seen like cars planes trains automobiles maybe a Batmobile something like that but nothing nothing even closely related to the the Gundams and the DBZ the Digimon Ultraman they got all sorts of these model kits and this guy got me hooked on them. I never knew that they existed. I'm not even sure if I'm on a bandwagon or not because what I've seen with a lot of these kits is that a lot of the ones I'm into were made in 2001 or 2002 or four. So really old kits. Some of them came with screws and everything. So we'll go down this, this journey together. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. I know it's something different than anything I've kind of ever done, but let's just go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing that I didn't know that you should know, I guess, is that these model kits, and these are some chibi, sort of very small style, like Gundams, and this is called the Val, Valkyl, this one, sorry, <laughs> Valkylander, and we have the Zero Gundam. These are actually really cool. Um, I actually think they, you know, they stand out really well, but they're very, very, very tiny. And that's just showing off the box. I really love these boxes. They're really dope. And here are the figures. Now, I'm gonna give you my usual on this spinny doodad just wanted to show you really quick but let's hop to it with this first one the Valkylander I think that's what it's called this was one of the earlier pieces I got into just to kind of wet my feet even though the first uh, model kit I ever did was a master grade now I'm not sure what grade style this is but they have this size a high grade real grade master grade these uh sets called the verka and then you have perfect grades and they all go up with size piece quantity and everything so this this one right here maybe had uh maybe a hundred or so pieces or something like that maybe not even that much a quick build did in about maybe an hour or two um, the pieces really went together really well and a lot of the stuff like the wings his little bandana piece in the back that kind of looks like hair his sword his shield all come off I know the face mask on it um, actually looks like it would come off or whatever but it doesn't it's all a part of the helmet and you guys gotta think each one of these things to make it look this big are pieces the size of a nail or a thumbtack and they they go from smaller to bigger i've seen pieces the size of a pebble so that's the first one i really dig it that thing is pretty sweet it is only one of the two and jump into the second one is the zero gundam legend or legend bb 
I think that's what that's from. But this this one kind of reminds me of the wing uh, the wing zero Gundam custom in a way. But this one is actually really freaking dope. I I wish that they would make a master grade, which is the, the size I mostly get with the model kits. And the master grades are actually pretty freaking you know grand size I think. But what I love about this thing is that blue translucent kind of sword he has the cape putting these together is just like adding on layers and layers of stuff until you get to maybe the exoskeleton or the armor of the thing i love this thing man it, it's pretty different even from the gundams i put together now even his eyes he's got like a happy eyes you can tell he's just smiling or something like that or laughing the color scheme is pretty freaking fire now what I did notice about looking this stuff up and just seeing some of Funko Cops uh, posts and if you want to check out places like Mecha Warehouse big shout out to Nick over at Mecha Warehouse uh, you can use the Funko Cop 10 code to get 10% off a little plug for you there my guy it's very worth it you guys trust me and you can paint these things sand them down give them like a battle worn kind of uh color scheme it's it's so many the possibilities are endless with these things i however just love cutting them out putting them together i love the build of them how the inner you know the inner pieces come together to make a foot or just to make a hand or even sometimes the weapons are in multiple pieces and pretty freaking dope next up we have the GAT X105 Plus AQM EX01 or the Strike Gundam. <laughs> so this is actually a pretty cool Gundam too. This is one of the early ones that I did before I knew the difference with. So if you see right here, it has a HG. That stands for high grade. Now we're starting to get closer to the bigger style Gundams. Here is the side of the box. These always gives you a view of what they look like built in the different action poses. There's some of them that you can put them in. And with that being said, here he is. And this thing is pretty sweet. I like this thing. It's very dope. It's very uh, complex for a high grade, I feel like. But it's just some of the very... You know a lot of the high grades out here get way more intricate intricate than these things so we're just going to jump to a, a, a better zoom of this and everything on this thing pretty much can move you know the shield moves his uh boosters in the back his uh like guiding fenders sort of in the back kind of move he has like sword pieces or something like that that's that they would be up on top where his shoulders are those move is obviously you can exchange the weapons in his hands even even the pieces on their hips for the gundams a lot of those times those things move in case you want to do a different you know sort of action pose and it, it's not stiff but the high, what I've noticed about the high grades is, is sometimes they have as many pieces as the master grades, and sometimes they don't. And they're just smaller versions of a master grade, but they look just as good. So the look is spot on, although the size and the amount of pieces that come with it are not. Now, uh, this is one of the color schemes that's used a lot in Gundam, which is the red, white, and blue, and yellow. You see a lot of those Gundams with that. I like this Strike Gundam. It was from the Gundam uh, Seed Saga, and it was, it was a good starter kit to get your feet wet, to get you used to uh, the Gundam. You know, if you hop on doing this thing, they get way more complex but it's really just mind games because they all are kind of the same journey just different paths and it's always pretty cool so that is the strike gundam second to last before we wrap this up 
This is a gold Gundam, the Unicorn Gundam. That's what it's actually called. Unicorn Gundam 03 Phoenix. Gold coating. And this is also a high grade. I like this thing. I seen the master grade of it and I almost got it because once again, whenever I first started out, which is why I stopped getting high grades in any of the newer style Gundams, uh, and I'll get to the reason why in a second, before I made the switch over, I almost got the master grade of this. Now to compare size really quick before we hop to the the uh, like the closer look at this on the on the doodad these are two high grades so there's special parts like his wings back here that stand taller but they're they're virtually the same size same shape and they have obviously very different characteristics of each other and i love it that's why I, another reason why i love these model kits they're they all can be very similar very different so let's hop to that so that's that closer look this thing is cold, man. I don't collect, if you guys check out any of my Funko stuff, I don't collect any of the Chrome Pops, except for I have one, and it is the gold uh, Marvel fan vote of the um, Marvel Studios 10th anniversary, I believe it was, uh, Spider-Man Chrome, and this kind of gives me that those same feelings, you know, because even though it's gold-plated and you could equate it to a Chrome in a sense, it still has hardcore detail they didn't smooth away the detail parts and just give you like a prototype of a gundam the blades in this thing the handles are gold they went all out on this thing his little tails in, in the back that kind of hang off of the wings and kind of swoop uh and make a j sort of they, those move these gundams are cold man it's just solid pieces of work i love being able to put them together it's it it fascinates me how pieces so small create such uh unique dope pieces of work and i love it next and last of today's kits and those and these will uh kind of wipe out all my high grades so next week we'll be jumping into some master grades and i'll probably just do two or three of those and go into way more in depth show you all the weapons and everything like that that comes with these things next and the reason why i stopped getting high grades and this is um, a special circumstance you can see some gundams behind me besides this one i have some gundams in front of me that way and some over here and we'll get to all those and all those gundams are old old school style gundams which is why i started getting into this i have a game you guys can maybe check it out uh on switch sometimes i'm on youtube gundam battle assault 2 for the playstation 1 it is pretty much a street fighter mortal kombat uh versus fighting style except for you use gundams and that was one of the things that made me a huge gundam fan growing up as a kid besides the show obviously and getting into it enough of the chitter chatter we have the msn02 zeong <sighs> So there is, this is a high grade, as you can tell right here. There is a master grade of this, which is a lot bigger. And it's crazy because this is actually pretty solid once I uh, show it to you. Um, they have the master grade of this and it's actually going for the hundreds to maybe 200s, depending on where you get it from. So, your boy had to be a little reserved. Now, this is the side. And this just shows you underneath kind of of what he'll look like and different some angles and action poses. And that's his front and back. Now, enough, enough of that. Here he is. And look at that. That is clean, man. That is clean. Very dope. So this, this, Part right here can actually pop off and you can attach a black wired um so if you're if you guys are ever you know 
familiar with like I guess hardware stuff there's a paper clip wrapped in the black you know finish so you can bend it and construct it and screw it however you want and it attaches to this so it's a long like a rocket punch and it attaches to this so I love this thing it's hot to it for a high grade now okay I sleep on these hardcore I was really happy I walked into my uh, local shop I hadn't seen this kind of anywhere online that was the same amount at my store it was only 20 bucks no shipping anything else except for the taxes so it was like 21 it was a pretty good deal i was a little skeptical how big it was gonna be but compared to some of the master grades and stuff like that it fills out it's very bulky for a high grade which i like it will do the job it's very deceiving so if you if you do you know kits or you're just starting out this will make you think that maybe hey this could pass for a master grade until you get the master grade version of this and set it next to it and it'll probably it would probably blow it out of the water with size but i love this thing it moves on that stand that it's on you can do different poses i'm gonna one day get the the rocket arm punch kind of attached to it the msn 2 zeon old school Mo i'm pretty sure this is one of shars gundams along with the zaku and the epion and stuff like that so cold gundam love this thing you guys let me know how you feel about these model kits have i gone completely insane is it too many do you see yourself getting any do you think that they'd be too frustrating do they look dope but you just couldn't get into it because you don't want to mess it up uh there's way more to go with these kits that i'll get to later in date like you can put special decals on these things you can enter on a contest there's all sorts of things you can do with these kits other than just look at them after you build them i love these things i can't wait to continue this journey and build some more and i cannot wait to show you guys what else i got sneak peek of a couple that still have the plastic on it we have the broly from the broly super saiyan broly uh dragon ball super movie then you have the g or burning gundam cannot wait for this solid plug real quick the homie pan y'all go check her out she does all sorts of any any kind of drawing you need and want done she's got mad skills me her and the great dark sage started a no weaves allowed series on twitch and she got this gundam as the shirt for my uh avatar and i love that picture i love this gun this is burning finger it don't get no better than that baby the burning G Gundam. And last but not least, the real, the real dope Dark Sage. Your boy Trunks. Cannot wait to do this one. Very excited. It looks like it's gonna have a better build than a lot of DVZ ones that I've done. I've done like maybe three or four. So can't wait to do this one. It has a Super Saiyan hair and it's regular uh, hair. So I can't wait to dive into this and get this build going. These are just three on top of some others that I have needed to still build and some among the build, ones that are already built. Thank you guys. I appreciate it so much. I cannot wait to jump into more of these model kits. And if you see any out there that you think your boy will like, let me know. And sometimes we do some builds i've done one with nakama done one with brother swole obviously the great and wondrous and wise funko cop grandfather did in on the channel if you catch him sometimes when he got time he'll pop up and just do a little live build which is really cool so appreciate you guys thank you take it easy